Oh, hey. One thing about comic books is that it's a hobby that stimulates all the senses. The art stimulates the visual. You can almost hear the action from the onomatopoeia sound effects in the page and also the smell. Mm -mm -mm. But one thing that new comics is lacking is that smell that we remember from comic books from the days of old. And they just don't hit the spot. But now we have a solution for that. With old comic book smell spray. This is a way to get even your new books right off the stand that classic smell you get for meeting those classic Stan Lee stories. So it's very simple. Let me show you how it works. Give you a little demonstration. You just get your book, give it a little spray, get a little more on there. Okay. Let's get a little more. You can never use enough. Every every other page you should really get a good get a good layer down. And you let that book sit for about five seconds just to let it settle in and dry. Then you pick up your book and all of a sudden the pages are gonna stick a little bit, that's okay. All of a sudden your book is transported back in time. Mm. Smells like silver age. So to get your can of old comic book smell. Only the Comic Head 84 channel viewers and subscribers can take advantage of this limited time deal. All you have to do is go to the website hickmanfamilyllc.org backslash products forward slash sprays find the product and enter promo code 84. Just 84. And that's going to give you 10% off your next purchase. So give it a try. Transport yourself back in time to the Silver Age or the Bronze Age. Where put, they have different smells. They have Golden Age brand smell, Silver Age smell. And even when you get books straight off the rack, you'll enjoy that sweet, sweet smell of nostalgia. Now to your regularly scheduled program. Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, day four, coming at you with this little comic haul video, just want to do a quick little something to show you some recent pickups, tell you about them, just a little quick something for all the Comic Kid 84 channel subscribers. Thank you, Pick Floyd. I hope you enjoyed the uh, my new sponsor. Uh, I'm very excited to have that partnership. And uh, please check out that product. Big moves happening for Comic Kid 84's YouTube channel. So, big things ahead. I'm just going to get right to it. I'm just going to, you know, I picked up some books recently that I hadn't had a chance to kind of share with you guys and here they are. The, um, I picked up this rug. I picked this up. Is my lighting bad? I feel like it's bad. That's a little better. I picked up this run after me and the boys on Grader's Notes did this Moon Knight run. It just got me thinking like what's some other Warren Ellis that I can dig into. Come on lighting. Do your thing. Some other Warren Ellis I could dig into. So I stumbled across this run of Karnak, who's like an inhuman villain. I knew of him, but I didn't really know his deal very much. And this is a Warren Ellis story. Uh, Zafino did the art on 
like the first two issues, and then he's off the run, which is kind of disappointing, uh, because he was killing it. The, the story has like a really cool art design to it. It said on the back of the issue that he had like a family emergency, so I don't really know what that was about, but either way, Ella stays on the writing the whole time, and dude, and they have pretty cool covers too. Karnak is a straight up badass. Um, I had no idea. This is a great run. I recommend you read it. I got the one through five, but apparently there's a sixth issue that I'm missing. I feel like I might read it digital if I can't find it. Cause I got to find out the end of that story. It's a good uh, run. This was a something that I got from Midtown New Comic Book Day, Batman White Knight. This guy is pretty badass. Sean Murphy is a really a really high level talent in my opinion because he's it's one of the few books that's written and drawn by the same dude and you don't see that you see that more often in like indie books but you don't see that in mainstream DC Marvel titles as much so that's pretty cool I'm really enjoying that this was the book I don't know if you guys had caught wind of this but uh, I pocket purchased this from eBay while I was at work, my phone has a tendency to like do its own thing, and I bought this book on eBay in my pocket, and I was pretty happy with it. The Neil Adams cover, really cool one. I had never seen it before, and you know, I got hooked up. I picked up this cover just because I thought it was cool. I don't read Flash. It doesn't really do it for me, but there's that. I couldn't resist that cover. Here's another Year of the Villain. I really hate that banner. But, dude, that cover is incredible. Art Germ, sometimes it gets a little played out. But, brother, this book right here, wow, absolute fire. I can't wait for the Batman Returns Michelle Pfeiffer variant. That's going to be good. <clears throat> this book was a courtesy of an A-OK -OK from Alec at White Whale Comics. Man, this book has been on my like watch list and hunt list for quite a while. I've gone to quite a few shops trying to find this particular variant and I could not. And dude, Alec hooked me up um, and sent this my way. So, man, I really appreciate it. Really happy I got this one in the collection. This was my uh, crown jewel purchase from Fan Expo. Bang. Some I one, y'all. Not too shabby. I think this one's going to go to CGC. Because it could use a press and clean. I think this book will jump in grades. Because it's got this like waviness that's happening. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. And I'm pretty sure a press is going to figure that out. Powers of X. Powers of X and House of X is the best thing on the rack right now. So I'm very happy to have that. Uh, I'll just fly through these real quick. So these were books that I got at the Boston Fan Expo. I got a high grade copy of this book, number 17. Boom. Great Romita, Captain America cover, floating head action, Booster Gold 1, first appearance of Riri Williams, first cameo of the New Warriors. Ooh, this X-Men book has been on my hunt list for a while. I, I have like a low grade copy, like a chunk torn out, but finally got myself a high grade. Boom, Mad Love, the second printing cover, which I think is superior to the first one. I don't care what's more valuable. This is the cover for me. Oh, what's this? And I got House of X behind that. I kept that short and sweet because uh, you may have seen that before in another video. Oh, shout out to Stephanie Hans for that Thor book. Um, so yeah, that's those. Uh, I'm going to skip through a lot of the Fan Expo stuff. If you didn't catch that, 
I got a shit ton of books. There's way more than that. Uh, and if you want to see that, go to the Comic Heads channel. And I did a live stream with myself and Vasco. And uh, we go through everything that we picked up. 90 joined me. Uh, it was a whole thing. So check that out. I picked up a second copy of this recently. Good thing, huh? She Hulk's popping. Little Jack Kirby from Pacific Comics, Captain Victory. He wrote, he wrote it, drew it, edited it. It's like a little pet project. This is issue number seven. I might try to get issue one. Picked up the cool Batman and Two Face story. Look how cool this cover is, though. I've never seen this dynamic done before where this half of the room is really nice and clean. And the scarred half of Two Face, that side of the room is all beat up with trash and booze and cigarettes everywhere. That's nice. So we got that. Uh, let's see. I'll just go through these real quick. Neil Adams, Mr. T, number one. Mr. T and the T-Force with the card inside, sealed. I got issue one through four, poly bagged and sealed with the card included. Neil Adams only did uh, the cover to issue number one. Bang. Picked up this sweet Moon Knight issue. Great Moon Knight Punisher cover. Not too shabby. Couple issues of Batman and Robin. I like the ventriloquist. Underrated Batman villain, in my opinion. Pretty sweet Joker cover from the Batman and Robin Adventures. These are from a used bookstore that I randomly drove past um, while I was working, but let's keep that a secret. Cool little Batman Harley cover. Alpha Flight. This is the one where North Star comes out of the closet. Uh, I don't know how that got in there, but Punisher. Whoops. Some Silver Surfer teaming up with the FF. Sue Storm with the rare ponytail. Not too bad. Bang. I forget her name. I like a little circle insert of Surfer in the corner of that. Here's some nice Kirby. FF881. This is when Crystal of the Inhumans joins the team. Another nice little Surfer cover. Which, I like how the they incorporate the UPC. It's like they got all these little boxes of the characters that are the same size as the UPC. And there's a little surfboard in there. So, pretty cool. It's almost like a newsstand variant or something. And lastly, a little uh, first appearance of Yellow Jacket. Avengers number 59. Ta-da. This yellow jacket's way cooler than the one that they had in the Ant-Man movie. So, that's it. I figured I'd just throw, pop a little something on here, show you some recent pickups, tell you about them real quick, and uh, that's all she wrote for today. Thanks for coming by. Do the like button thing. And, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed to the Comic Heads channel, do that, because I'm liable to go live on that thing. Upcoming mega, the upcoming mega power hour shows on there, slap down matches, and the whole night. So, thanks for stopping by. Peace.